Bob was a bored office worker who hated his job. He spent most of his time surfing the internet and playing games on his phone. He wished he could quit his job and travel the world. One day, he saw an advertisement on a website that said, Win a free trip to Hawaii. Just answer this simple question and enter your email address. Bob thought it was a scam, but he decided to give it a try anyway. He clicked on the link and saw the question, What is the capital of Hawaii? Bob knew the answer was Honolulu, but he decided to be funny and typed in Hula. He then entered his email address and clicked on the submit button. He expected to see a message saying, Sorry, you are wrong. Better luck next time. Instead, he saw a message saying, Congratulations, you are the lucky winner. You have won a free trip to Hawaii for two. Please check your email for further details. Bob was shocked and excited. He couldn't believe he had won a free trip to Hawaii. He checked his email and saw a confirmation message from a travel agency. It said, Dear Bob, thank you for participating in our contest. You have won a free trip to Hawaii for two, including round-trip flights, hotel accommodation, and a guided tour. Your destination is Hula, a small town on the island of Molokai. Please reply to this email with your preferred dates and the name of your companion. We hope you enjoy your trip. Bob realized he had made a mistake. He had typed in Hula instead of Honolulu, and now he had to go to a small town on a remote island instead of a big city on a popular island. He tried to reply to the email and ask for a change, but it was too late. The email address was invalid and the message bounced back. Bob had no choice but to accept his fate. He decided to take his best friend Tom as his companion. He hoped that Hula would be a nice place to visit, even if it was not what he had expected. He and Tom packed their bags and boarded the plane to Hawaii. They were looking forward to their trip until they landed on Molokai. They found out that Hula was not a town, but a village. A very small village. A very small village with no electricity, no internet, no phone service, no shops, no restaurants, no hotels, and no tourists. Just a few huts, a dirt road, a coconut grove, and a bunch of chickens. Bob and Tom were horrified. They had to spend a week in this village with no amenities, no entertainment, and no escape. They had to sleep on the floor, eat whatever the villagers gave them, and listen to their stories. They had to learn how to make fire, crack coconuts, and catch chickens. They had to join the villagers in their daily activities, such as fishing, farming, and dancing. They hated every minute of it. They missed their home, their phones, their games, and their internet. They cursed the website, the travel agency, and themselves for being so stupid. They wished they had never entered the contest. The moral of the story is, be careful what you wish for. You might get more than you bargained for.